Hi YouTube, this is your girl, Naturally Do Delicious, and this is my first YouTube video. Um, on my channel, I'm going to be talking about basically beauty things. I've been natural for almost two years now, and YouTube helped me get through my natural hair journey, so I said why not give back and help others with their natural journey. Um, like I said, I've been natural for almost two years. Um... I just really wanted to see what my natural hair pattern looked like. My mother used to tell me when I was younger that I had good curly hair and that um, it was thick and long. And I just wanted to go back to that. I didn't have any breakage with my perm. I just wanted to see what my natural hair looked like. So um, I transitioned for 10 months. I used braid outs for the most part as my transitioning hairstyle. I did flat iron. I flat iron my hair um, maybe once, twice a month. I would flat iron my hair. I tried to flip flop, flat iron one week, braid outs next week. And I used to do it like that. And um, <clears throat> I try not to put too much heat on it. I wouldn't suggest flat ironing your hair for like a month straight, especially when transitioning because that can um, damage your hair where your natural hair and your perm hair meet is very fragile and if you keep on putting the flat iron on it that's what makes people's hair shed and pop and things of that nature um, <clears throat> I stuck with a regimen when I was going natural I tried to stick to the same thing every week um, I would wash my hair um, I would pre-poo it first. That pre-poo is um, something you put on your hair to help protect your hair from the shampoo process. So it goes on before the shampoo, hence pre-poo. Um, I used to use hair mayonnaise. You can use an egg. You can use real mayonnaise. Something that has um, protein in it and it will strengthen your hair. You put that on first. Rinse it out. And let it sit maybe 10 minutes with a plastic cap over it. Rinse it out. Apply the shampoo. Rinse that out. And then apply a conditioner in it. When the conditioner is in your hair, comb through your hair to get the tangles out and let it sit for a minute or so and then rinse it out. That makes your hair a whole lot easier to deal with. Um, for people going natural, I suggest that you use natural hairstyles to transition such as bantu knots, braid outs, flat twists, weaves, um, anything that doesn't um, call for you to use a comb a lot. Um, a comb puts tension on your hair and like I said before, your where your perm and natural hair meet is very fragile so if you're always combing it and stuff, your hair probably will shed a lot. I didn't have a lot of shedding at all while transitioning, and I believe the pre-poo helped with that. And I also kept my ends clipped. I would say every six to eight weeks, clip your ends. Um, just you can just dust them. It doesn't have to be a big. It doesn't have to be a big amount of hair cut off, but me personally I would do maybe a half inch to an inch on certain occasions just to make that process quicker with the transitioning I transitioned for 10 months and when I um, trend when I cut all my perm off my hair wasn't short at all I probably was like three four inches worth of hair so I had a good amount of hair in it length in that 10 months it's just um, it depends on the person you can transition for two months you can transition for 10 years I mean it's whatever works for you and that's the thing I took bits and pieces from other people's videos and found what works for me so what works for me may not work for your hair um, I come to find out that I am like a um, 4A in the front my hair is very tightly curled um, in the back I'm like a 3C. The curls are bigger, shinier, and in the middle, I'm a 3A. Have more of a wave shape.
haircut pattern so once you get involved with your hair and find out what works for you what your curl pattern is the experience will come like second nature I enjoy my um, my natural hair it's a it was a new experience for me got a lot of compliments on my natural hair it's on mine I like it I do my color I clip my ends all these kind of videos will be coming up shortly um, a video with products will be up next it is not expensive to go natural it is not time consuming you just have to be willing to put in the work it's nothing strenuous it's nothing like very hard I mean you're gonna have to do little things if you're used to, you're one of those people that's used to not being in your hair at all then it may be a little bit of a stretch but it's nothing hard. Video's coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you later. Love you, YouTube.